So you guys have been wanting a video for quite a while now. And yes, it is THX Spatial. But let me just tell you right now, I'm only doing this because this is the final update to this headset that I'm doing for a while because I'm going back to the Black Shark V2 wire. And the reason why is because people have been asking about it and I know I've been lackadaisical on it, but it's not necessarily my fault that I've been lackadaisical. It's the fact that like I've been working more hours at my job and doing other things to kind of get by and, and obviously it's been time consuming. So it's been taking me away from the stream. It's been taking me away from making YouTube videos. It's been very hard to keep up with it. So just bear with me. And I know I didn't give the intro for anybody that's new. <laughs> Hi, I'm Braven. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm a Twitch streamer, twitch.tv forward slash x underscore Braven. Follow, like, and subscribe. Very much, please, appreciate it. Um, as you can see to my left, yep, that's my left right there. <laughs> Team Razor, I am a Razor affiliate. Um, like, it's just a small sponsor because I'm a still a small streamer, but it's like a smaller end sponsor through Razor. And yes, I, did, I do get information on the inside from them. Um, definitely, all my peripherals are pretty much Razor gear. Obviously, I've been doing reviews on other stuff. Um, so you'll be seeing like different things on my desk randomly like just recently was the Rocat Burst Pro mouse that I was doing testing on and I'll be having a review for that and I also have um, different mouse pads that I'm testing to which I'll be getting another one soon and even, even another mouse to test so just keep an eye out for if you like fun reviews and what I think of I get in, in depth um, about the reviews very simple stuff but anyways I know you guys are here for THX Spatial for the most part so a lot of you have a lot of questions and you're not getting the answers on the internet uh, I've been giving videos about these for a long time and I'm hoping that some people that don't realize that the, the, there's been videos in my playlist it's there for you to go back and check and see for yourself uh, but this one will be an updated version and it's not gonna just as disclaimer warning too it's not gonna have every game on there but like I'm gonna tell you guys in two disclaimers one I sometimes just can't get the games that you guys want me to play or I'm just not willing to take the time to do it because I only get so much time to do streaming and, and making videos anyways. Don't take that offensively. It's just really hard to go and balance all these things and do all these things at once. It's, you know, I'm only one man here and I'm a busy, busy man. So besides that disclaimer, the other disclaimer is these sounds are competitive edge sounds, not for just like real life immersion. If you're trying to look for real life immersion, you're gonna wanna go and do different types of tests in the sense of what the game pronounces in certain audio, like a single player game that has really good uh, wildlife features in, in audio versus like your footsteps and stuff. That's that's a whole different type of ball game in terms of EQ. Um, there will, I probably could do a, a, like a demonstration of how I would test it in one of the next videos I get coming up. But for now, this is all competitive edge. It's all I stream really is competitive edge type gaming for the most part. Uh, so that's why you're going to get that type of sound. This is all for your best competitive edge. And again, everyone's ears is different. It's another disclaimer. <laughs> Uh, everyone's ears is different. So what I say generally every single time I make a video like this is that you use mine as a bait my EQs as a baseline starting point and then you move to up to or down to depending on what you're finding more comfortable on your own. So obviously start with my EQs set it like that and then build off from there. But obviously I've had people help in the past about what sounds better with audio and what hasn't sound better with audio and, and what they did different. And, what, and I've taken all kinds of people's uh, opinions and coming in and making my own setup. And this is what I've come up with in the end. And yes, I do give shout outs to those that did actually help me out get to this point. So I've done it in the past. So if you guys have any inputs you would like to put in, please let me know. But without further ado, we're going to get into this. And I'm going to show you from step by step from the Windows homepage of how I set it up. And again, if you guys are on console, it's a different story, obviously. Um, you're going to still want to set it up on a computer to get the best optimization possible for your headset before you unplug, uh, unplug the dongle and put it right back into your console. It should work for the most part. All right. So here we go. Anyways, we are here, Team Razor. Yes, yes, that's what I represent. And we're going to be pulling up the sound properties. So you're going to come in here. And you're gonna make sure, all right? First and foremost, the most important thing here is you wanna make sure under playback that you have everything, except like obviously my monitor says ready, you don't need that ready. Obviously my monitor has speakers on it. It's a good backup if something happens, if I disconnect my headset and I wanna hear something through my monitor, by all means, that's why the only reason why it's ready, but it doesn't need to be. So obviously you wanna keep your motherboard's output sound ready. So that's your motherboard. So the Realtek digital output is what's giving me the monitor's optimization of the of the audio into my headset so it's just pretty much like a chipset driver and if you think about it that way you need that ready everything else disabled disconnected disabled whatever and then you go to the razors black shark v2 pro you want to set that as a default communications device and then thx spatial audio as the default device 
the reason why you want the, the THX Spatial Audio as the default device because automatically what that's doing is going to unlock the channels, the extra channels that are in this headset. So instead of having only two speakers, you're having like eight or something like that. I think it's like six or eight in, and you're getting a bunch of spatial sounds out of those small little speakers that are in there. So that's what gives you the, the, the immersion. Okay, so that's got to stay as default device. Everything else disabled, and yes, I know I've talked about this in the past. It's really, like I said, it's been so I've been so busy. It's really hard to do this, but I'm still going to be testing the internal aux jack of THX Spatial Audio for those for those using wired. So keep an eye out for that. Anyways, okay, so recording. Obviously, I'm using uh, the Razer Siren Mini as my default communications device, but obviously the Black Shark V2 Pro shows as default device. Doesn't need to be like that if you have a separate microphone that you're using, like I am right here. However, the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro would obviously be your default communications device. Uh, also, it says right here Razer Coyote. That's actually my camera that you guys are seeing me through right now, and that's why it's disabled because they, it does have an integrated mic on it, and it's terrible. You don't use that, please. <laughs> Everything else not plugged in, not plugged in. A stereo mix of Realtek audio can be disabled. Yes, absolutely. So after that's set up, you want to make sure to uh, – I think you have to click on the – Sorry, you have to click on the Black Shark V2 Pro and go to properties. You want to go to advanced and you want to make sure you're on 16 bit, 48,000 hertz quality. Sometimes, and I don't know why this is like this, but sometimes, sometimes you could get even higher quality. It depends if your sound properties is giving you, I call it the lottery because I've had it before until I updated it. And when I updated it, it went back to 16 bit. 16 bits normal. However, you go. The properties once again to look at it and it, sometimes it will say right here 24 bit 24 bits even higher quality and obviously you're going to want to enable audio enhancements because that's what's processing through your headset so you're going to want that okay other than that you just make sure that's set right there with 24 bit if it's 24 bit leave it it's good but if it's not 24 bit it's fine as long as it's 16 bit you're good to go especially 48 uh, 000 hertz you want that Okay, so after that, you're going to go to your Razer Synapse. Make sure you install Razer Synapse at the, the most recent uh, firmware update. And once you do that, which, by the way, if you don't know if it's up to date or not, you could go in and they have an update manager thing inside the software. Or you could just freshly uninstall it and then reinstall it, which is probably the best way to clean out any old junk files. And then it'll come right back in and you get all your pro, uh, peripherals that were in the software already rebooted up. I think it saves to the cloud or something and you're good to go. Including That's including the RGB setups that you got and whatnot. Similar to what I'm doing. So, anyways... So I'm gonna show you right here, this is obviously my Apex stuff, but I'm gonna show you exactly why I have it set up a certain way. I just have it set like this right now. I've actually changed everything around a little bit just to show you step by step what to do, but obviously Apex, I didn't get the change. I actually screwed up on that. So we'll start with Battlefield. Okay, so Battlefield, you're gonna see right here, it's on THX Spatial Audio, okay, it's on. It's on custom mode, and then obviously everything else custom mode, Valorant, it still says game mode, but that doesn't matter. You're only focusing on one or a couple games with this profile, okay? So obviously everything that's under Battlefield, Battlefield 5, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, all that is set to custom mode. And the reason why I want you to set it to custom mode on every game you play for the most part, except for some that you could test it on, just say right now, this custom mode is because custom mode is going to utilize your EQ. However, okay, every time you start up Razer Synapse, okay, you're going to want to uncheck this, but want be or obviously make sure it's unchecked because sometimes it'll save as unchecked. But anyways, you're going to want to, and this is why I think console players, I think you get this benefit because automatically it will already save under. Every time I started up T, uh, THX Spatial after I've turned it off, it's stayed off. However, but what you're going to want to do is you want to turn it on and then it's going to be on game mode. That's what does change. I don't know why this is freaking wild. Oh, sorry about that. That's weird why it was all over the place, but ignore that. So that's just where your the audio is going to be. You could uh, maneuver it to what you want best. Um, but honestly, again, there's a custom mode one. I don't know what happened, but something kind of glitched out here. I didn't make a custom mode one. Um, so anyways, what you're going to want to do. There we go. That's what it was, custom mode. So custom mode one is just random. I don't know what this is. That needs to just not be here. How do I delete this? Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know what the fuck that was. But anyways, custom mode. You're going to want it from game mode. And see how game mode's all screwed up too? This is ridiculous. It should not be like this. But it, it, something happened. It's very weird. So you, what you want to do is you want to go from game mode to custom mode. Okay? And custom mode is going to be your positions that you make it. Okay? So make sure you set that. Make sure you set that so the audio pinpoints exactly where you want to pinpoint it when you test it. It's going to obviously do the helicopter sound. You're going to hear it move around the, the channel of the headset. So...
after that make sure all your all your battlefield specifically are on custom mode but then after this is all done you're going to want to uncheck this and the reason why you uncheck this is because it gives you the stereo separation but with the thx spatial audio so actually this is the best you can get in terms of immersion or not immersion sorry um distance of audio clarity of audio and then on top of that um with the eq set right you're going to be able to hear it very well in pinpoint locations the best you could possibly get it so it's just the best overall and obviously as i do with every single thx facial video we're going to walk you through every single eq so now that you know how to set it up for each one okay you're going to do this step by step bass boost i have for battlefield games at 80 Audio is the best in, in Battlefield. Audio has always been so amazing in Battlefield. Um, very rarely do I ever have instances where audio breaks out, where like footsteps are going around and stuff, but it's very rare. Um, other than that, audio is so pristine and good. So anyways, you want to want your bass boost to 80. You're going to want your EQ starting at 3, 1, 2, 3, 0, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 1, 1. And that's for me have been the best balance of where I'm gonna hear audio. And you can see in my gameplay too. Like watch my gameplays of Battlefield 5 that I've been uploading recently. You can see that like my audio comes in really well for me specifically. But again, everyone's ears are different. I gotta make that reminder because everyone watches these videos and they always say, Oh, but it doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for me, and then they start complaining, Oh my I don't like my headset. I'm like, Well, you're not you're not setting it up for yourself properly. That's your fault. So what I'm trying to do is help you understand that your ears are probably different from mine so you're not going to benefit from exactly this or you might benefit from, from exactly this or even better you might even find a better one for yourself but the whole point is just a starting point this is the starting point for you so once again i'm gonna go through it one more time three one two three zero negative one one zero negative one and one so when you're gonna start there and then obviously if sounds are a little different you're gonna go bump up by two or down by two every single one whatever one that just you got to work with it you got to test it and play with it okay but that's what i found to be the best battlefield eq period or period sorry um i don't use my mic so that's why i don't have a mic setting at all for this but like i said if you have a low end voice it's as simple as just going up to like you know five on bass or whatever if you have a high pitched voice you want to put your bass up higher and then you obviously keep your uh, highs at a lower because if you're a high pitched voice you don't want to have you know sorry that wouldn't be like that. It'd be something like this. And then you go back up. Something like that. Just as an example. So anyways, that's just a, an example of somebody with a high-pitched voice that wants to have their, their audio boosted a little bit with their mic. I, I use mic monitoring. So that's the only reason why that's set on. And mic monitoring is just to hear your voice into your headset. That's always necessary no matter what. Um, but with, in terms of all this, all, all the enhancements and all that I've heard weren't even really that good. You just want it as clear as possible. And I know, I think volume normalization might be the best enhancement you could get out of all those. But even then it's still like, you know, it's whatever the mic's really good, but it's just really good as a gaming headset mic, not like a professional mic. So if you're trying to have your, and again, and every game is different too. So your mic might not even work with other games, you know, my, your mic might sound different for other people. But in the end, if I were to use my mic, this would be it pretty much not like this exactly but like i'm just saying like the idea of it because obviously i would ha i feel like i have a more just mid-tone voice it gets deep at times so i'd probably pull it up like in the middle more and then drop down the edges and then or i'm sorry no i would put all the uh edges up and then drop the mids down so the mids would be more or the, the lows and highs would be more pronounced and my mids would be lined up with it is what i'm getting at so it just sounds crystal clear and good so anyways that's just for that um like i said if you guys have questions about mics maybe i'll do a mic testing and post it in the comment section but that's about it again it, mics it's all personal on your own on your voice you got to ask yourself how do you sound so anyways uh besides that we're going back to over here and you're going to go to apex now because i know people are some apex fans um i have been playing apex on custom mode which sounds really good by the way so remember just every time you start this up it's the same thing turn thx special on off whatever um but you got to make sure it's off when you set it up and it's got to be under custom mode then you go to your enhancements i have bass boost at 100 here and then i have sound normalization on for this game specifically at 30 and i feel like it really helps with just certain types of audio i was hearing so um really hard to explain but it's just it, it enhances the audio you kind of need so I, I i definitely like the sound normalization on personal preference for you you can still turn it off i'm sure it's still gonna sound pretty good but i liked it better with the sound normalization on um i'm playing at seven four five six three zero two one one and three and again this really hasn't changed since the last one i mean a lot of these eqs haven't changed at all since the last video but 
for the most part, it's just pretty much I've figured out the balance for it for me specifically. But again, these are all pretty high for my specific, I mean, for, for specific tastes of other people. You might want to drop these down a bit just to see if it balances a little better. But for, again, this is what helped me hear footsteps when I needed to hear footsteps and hear certain explosions at a distance when I need to hear certain explosions and vice versa. You know, it's always the highs. The highs you're kind of getting with distance sounds. You want it up a little bit, but you don't want it too close because too close, it's just the sound of a gunshot going off. And is, is that really important? No. You kind of want that. That muted down a bit because you want to be able to hear if somebody's running up or flying up on you behind you while you're in a gunfight so that's why i balance it the way i do but obviously footsteps is the biggest thing you got to hear if somebody's above you or below you or whatever that's the most important thing with competitive gaming so i retired from cod for those who don't know i have retired from cod i had base boost at 80 and this is the last eq that i use this is warzone by the way oh wait no, this is battlefield what the hell why did it go back to cod okay there we go so and my mic monitoring on this just sounds like shit. Yes, it's at 90. I don't know why. I could just hear it when I was talking. I was like, it sounds like shit. Um, so anyways, as you can see, THX, just to show you once again, you want to go down to Call of Duty, which I don't have it anymore, but I would have it at custom mode, and then I would turn THX special off once this was set to custom mode. Shouldn't have to explain that anymore. It's pretty much self-explanatory for every profile you make. For Call of Duty specifically, this is Warzone again. Uh, base boost is at 100, and I was playing at 7, 4, 7, 5, 1, 1, negative 1, 1, 2, and 3. So there you have it. Call of Duty Warzone, one of the most tricky games because one of the shittiest audios I've ever heard in my life. Shittiest audio designs. And, I mean, you can see it with the company, what they're going through right now. The game's a fucking disaster. Let's be real here. If you're a Call of Duty fan, I'm sorry, but it's a disaster. It's really a shame that they're fucking really screwing over the community and they're just fucking cashing out on you guys. It's really bad. That's why I've, I've uninstalled it and not playing it anymore. Cold War, same thing. Cold War is one of those games where I just kind of gave up on it. Um, Cold War... Again, we already told you how to do this. Uh, obviously, you can see other things will say game mode. Don't worry about that, okay? Just you got to just remember that when you're playing a certain game, you're going to want to switch it back over, okay? So uh, it's got to be custom mode, or if you want to, you know, experiment like right here, it says THX competitive mode, you, you could experiment with it still. So obviously, same thing, custom mode, THX spatial off in the tab. Obviously, it stays on right here just to make sure that it's working. That's how you know it's working right there that is on that. Then you go to your enhancements. Base boost is at 90. This is Cold War, by the way. Just a reminder, Cold War, not Warzone. So Cold War is 4, 1, 2, 4, 0, 0, 2, 0, 2, and 4. And just as a disclaimer about Call of Duty games and other games that I haven't been like playing a lot recently, what is the fact that since I haven't played it and there's been updates that happen, sometimes the audio can get skewered by the update so obviously if the audio sounds different from one update to another update you're going to probably want to readjust it a little bit just so it lines back up and sounds decent but again call of duty is such a shit show of a game good luck and i'm just gonna say good luck because i don't give a flying fuck about call of duty anymore and i am just you probably shouldn't either just to be real but if you like call of duty i hope this works for you and this is what i was using before i quit so csgo CSGO, uh, again, same thing. You know, you always want to go to back to THX Spatial. Just click it off. Make sure it's on custom mode. Click it off. And then you go under Counter-Strike and it's under custom. Make sure every single one's like that. I shouldn't have to repeat this anymore. I know I just said that, but that's the final time. <laughs> so anyways, um, base boost is at 100. And then I have CSGO at 6, 3, 5, 6, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 3. And again, with CSGO, it was a little tricky at times when I was playing it because... It's one of those games where, like, the audio, yes, you need a bass boost for sure, especially with how older the game is, the audio is not the greatest. But it's still there, and it's still very much useful. However, the audio design is it's outdated, you know? Like, obviously, it's updated, but not it's still outdated. And so making this, obviously, was to try to get the best just audio of distance in footsteps. And obviously, uh, with the stereo separation kind of trick that we've done with this um, THX spatial audio setup um it still kind of gives you that like you know where are they at exactly but that's csgo for you it's not don't don't fret about it being the headset or the thx spatial audio it's literally just the game it's an older game but this is what i found the most success with and i don't really play csgo that much so obviously this is all just a starting point for you to try and then if you found something better let me know so music okay so music's completely different entirely in terms of your your listening uh experience but this specific eq was found based off of uh electronic music specifically drum and bass house and trance music 
Trance music sounded really good with this. But again, this is all personal preference. Um, dubstep might sound pretty good with this too. It's really bassy music, like influenced around. So uh, again, THX spatial audio. You could test this to have it on or off. Is obviously a music thing. So if this is just for listening purposes, but um, I think I've had it on this whole time that I've been listening to music. Every time I turn it on, and it works wonderful. Like it sounds so good. So I got bass boost at 65, just because you don't want to overpower it too much. And then sound normalization at 100. And the reason why I had to put sound normalization at 100 because it really amplifies just the the the, the uh, how do you put it like the feelings that you get from the music you know what i mean like the melodies and stuff that come out just like it's it's it's, it's you know catchy and it feels really good like it gives you that rush it's nice so the sound normalization really brings that out in the melodies so that's what i'm trying to get at it's a really nice addition you could test it to see maybe if you like the sound normalization or not i keep it on it sounds great to me so i have it five five six two one three four three five and two did i say five yeah five two okay so that's music again electronic music uh electronic music specifically so please give that a try if you like it let me know in the comment section i truly appreciate it i worked hard on that one too i love it i love it with this headset PUBG. PUBG was one of the most difficult games I could possibly try to do in terms of testing audio because you only have two ways of testing this one in game or two in a in a firing range and trust me everyone's shooting their fucking nuts off in that firing range so you can barely get audio tests in but when I did I, I, I still put bass up high because again I feel like I was more fighting over the sound of gunfire when I did it in firing range which bugged the shit out of me so obviously this you could probably drop it down by like one or two and it's just give you enough of that bass boost up for the footsteps but from what i tested i know it was a pain in the ass obviously bass boost at 100 but i got seven three four six one zero one two one and four again PUBG was really tricky to test but you could possibly try for yourself see if you like it if not like i said i would probably even just go start it at five um you could probably drop this down by one so five two four three or five two three and then four I would start with something like this. Obviously, you could drop these down by one each and then try that from there. But like I said, I was combating a little bit of the fact that it was literally just that bad <laughs> with trying to test it. It was a pain in my ass. And obviously, I had to test it in-game too. But even in-game, like you're in a gunfight and all of a sudden, some guy's sniping you from across the map. It just gets a little ridiculous. But that's PUBG for you, you know? Just a fun game like the way it is. So, And remember, like I said, everything everything's similar when you go over here you just want to make sure it's on custom mode the game's on custom mode and you just click this off once it's all set and you're good to go so because what's going on and let me explain it real quick too because what's going on is like i said you're unlocking the thx spatial audio channels in your headset with windows but in the software it's like almost double preemptively doing it so we don't want to do that what you want to do is just have it unlocked and then have thx spatial working as a stereo separation and it sounds much better like that that's why i call it the the thx spatial trick or whatever so it's really nice so anyways rainbow six siege very straightforward i haven't really i played it like twice or three times since i've i've done this last eq uh, it, audio is really good in that game so i feel like this is still fine and nothing's really changed for me at least the last time i played it was like a couple days ago so it definitely felt like it was you know working pretty well so base boost at 100 six four three five two one three zero three and four and then obviously we got tarkov tarkov i'm gonna say take this with a grain of salt tarkov fans because escape from tarkov is really hard to test too um but at least this is a starting point you could try and it does help but like i said it's just there's a lot of sounds that could be in, like you could up some of the highs even higher than this just because of the fact that like there's some different types of sounds that come out but the thing is i haven't had enough experience with tarkov to give you guys a how do you say comfortable eq setting but i can say at least you could try this and see if this is a good starting point for yourself so bass boost four two two three zero zero two one zero and two like i said you could up a lot of these you could down a lot of these you just try to test it for yourself but just start with this and then work your way on it okay because tarkov was a very tricky one and then last but not least valorant i know some people are asking for fortnite and stuff like that but like i said there's games that i'm just I haven't had the time to download when when i do have the time to do anything i'd rather just fucking be trying to get the streams out and, and stuff like that so just because i need to put my time wisely you know but not saying that i'm not going to do one eventually it's just you're going to have to be very patient with me i'm only one man and i'm a busy one so valorant last but not least um base boost at 100 
five, two, one, five, zero, one, two, three, one, and four. So I found this to be a little trickier because again, it's the same thing as CSGO in a sense, but except it's actually newer audio, but it's just the fact that you're either sprinting or not sprinting, you're like just walking or sprinting. I guess you could just say it like that, but yeah, but the only audio that comes out is sprinting. So makes no sense why you would, you know, have to bump up certain audio but you do so i believe that the bass sound this does come out at distances when people do decide to sprint but however again it's like your audio's only good for the times where it definitely comes out but majority of the time if you're playing sneaky or the other team's playing sneaky there's no audio at all so that's the thing where it kind of tricks you around a little bit and you got to use game sense and whatnot but let's just say if the person's running at a distance and you need to kind of hear something going on this will help for sure so should be simple and straightforward after that and that's it for thx spatial and with the black shark v2 pro and keep an eye out because i am definitely getting that v2 wired hooked up actually right after this video so it'll be nice so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video i know my my quality of my camera which this looks especially weird it looks like it's like kind of fuzzy or whatever but what i did was i, I took my camera and went from 10, uh, 1080p quality to 720p because my stream is 720p and it gives me actually true true to uh sense 60 frames at, at uh, 720p and then 1080p is actually 50 frames so it's close but not it entirely so if you guys like the camera quality great but i'm probably going to be testing around with that really soon too so I'll have this video uploaded probably in the next few days. Uh, I don't want to just upload it right away yet. Um, I got some videos to cut out right now and some updates to do. So like I said, it, uh, if you guys truly appreciate these types of videos, please leave a comment in the comment section. Follow, like, and subscribe is very much appreciated. But again, I'm always streaming and testing things. So keep an eye on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash X underscore Braven. I'm actually streaming a lot more now that I have a set schedule for at least the next month. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but obviously, as of today, which is the 2nd of August, I am not streaming. So just uh, wish me luck on my editing and doing all this other stuff that I'm doing with my computer. So hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. And I'll be seeing you guys with the Black Shark V2 Wired. Adios.